Hello, welcome. Cabbage here. In Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, let's react to the memories, the main story memories. I did not record the uh, the dragon's tears as I was going through the game, because uh, I was not expecting them to be so good. I wasn't expecting the story to be so good. Uh, so we can go back and then react here, and then uh, later maybe I'll do a reaction to like my uh, clear of the boss fight, and then the ending uh, cutscenes. And then this video here, this is going to be imperfect. We're going to miss some stuff because we're just going through the, the menu here. We're not going to see me getting the Master Sword, for example. Uh, but let's have a look. And then I will try to talk about, like, uh, costumes, maybe? Stuff that are um, influenced by uh, Japanese culture, Japanese history. And then I will play with the, uh, the Japanese voice acting. And then talk about, like, my thoughts on the English voice acting, and then talk about, like, what they're trying to achieve with the Japanese voice acting. Maybe talk about some um, interesting things to point out, looking at the, uh, the English translation. But uh, this part here, this is the, uh, the beginning of the game. That's clever. I mean, this is a uh, sequel to Breath of the Wild, so you're all powered up at the end of that game. But here we are put back in a state where we can kind of start from zero in this game. Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> So Ganon's voice there, um like Japanese voice acting, it's very, um, has a long history, and it's very uh, developed in sort of the, um, the prototypical uh, nature of each kind of voice. And just by hearing, you know, the quality of the voice, we get a very good sense of like what kind of character they are. And so hearing that performance of Ganon, I get this sense of like uh, ancientness, also that he is very uh, self-confident. And then these strings here, they really remind me of, like, uh, Hisai Shijo, who does the, uh, the music for Ghibli films. There's a lot in this game that references those Ghibli films. <laughs> Which is also smart. That speaks, you know, very uh, directly to Japanese folks. They have a, uh, you know, strong background in that. And they're popular around the world, so... Yeah, I think a lot of people can pick up on the uh, emotions meant to be um, felt by that kind of music. Okay, so that's the end of the scene. Uh, we didn't see Link uh, speak to uh, Raoru, but uh, we'll see him here. We will see uh, where Zelda went. I feel like that when you go through uh, the map, you know, and you find these tiers, I think chances are very high that uh, we will see them out of order.
but it still manages to work. You might appear like uh, in a very advanced part of the story. It kind of adds to the mystery, and then you want to, you know, see the uh, the backstory. ごめんなさい。私はソニアと申します。ナワナント。私はハイラル国王ロームが娘セルダ。これはいいなことをハイラルは我らが起こした国。私以外に王はおらぬはずだが。Here we can talk about the uh, the quality of these three uh, voice actors. Uh, what the um, what the quality of the voice of uh, Zelda's voice actor is trying to convey is that she's very pure. It is higher, so that does kind of denote youth. But not too young. All right, let's continue on to the next memory. Uh, Sonia has a very uh, kind of prototypical, kind of older woman, uh, queenly, stately, very proper. Naudu is maybe the most interesting choice of the three. Many, many, like, powerful or older uh, male figures, they'll have deeper voices. But Rauru's voice is a little bit higher. But still, there's very much a, a tone of, like, nobility to it. And kindness and wisdom. And then all of this kind of, like... It's not unspoken language, but like, what is implied through the quality of the voice, it's never really uh, addressed in the English voice acting, because there's just not that same vocabulary. Like, what does a, a noble performance in English sound like, just by the quality of the voice? Is it tone? Is it intonation? ね、ゼルダさん。とにかく一度落ち着かなきゃ。私たちのお城においでなさい。いえ、<笑> You could say that um, there being like such a strong standard among Japanese voice acting for uh, certain personalities being represented by certain voices. You could say that that is like uh, limiting, you know. That limits the number of uh, voices that can be used on a certain character. But I think it is very valuable to have that uh, kind of vocal language in place. Sorry, I'm not reacting to the story at all. <laughs> uh, but this next one, this might be interesting. Uh, here we will meet uh, Raoru's sister, Mineru. Her voice too. It sounds higher class and uh, but also motherly. And it also sounds like she uh, knows exactly what she's talking about. So I feel kind of like I trust her, you know? And that matches her character very well. Uh, 
していいかしらはいミネル様何かのお役に立つのならではお借りするわ私が未来から来たこと信じていただけますか Uh, also, one thing, more than the actual、uh, English voice acting, that、uh, if there was anything there that bothered me, more than that was kind of more the writing, the,、uh, the translation. I felt like some of the,、uh, the written、uh, script for Zelda in particular didn't really match with her character. Like when she says, okay, <laughs> I don't think the princess of the realm would say, okay. She would say, I see, or. Something like that. Sonia, <laughs> 実際にそれを制御し行使するのはあなた自身だからあなたが帰り方をわからないという As for the,、uh, the costume aesthetic I see a lot of、uh, kind of central southern America the ancient、uh, civilizations like the Aztec, the Inca, the Mayans and like a lot of the,、uh, the stonework there seems to be reminiscent of the、uh, stonework in those civilizations too I've talked about this in、uh, multiple videos, I think, but I've always liked the,、uh, the lost civilization trope. <laughs> we see that in Ghibli films, we see that in games like、uh, Ico or、uh, Shadow of Colossus, The Last Guardian. So I'm always on board for stuff like this. <laughs> ごめんなさい。お役に立てなくて。とはいえ、ゼルダ殿が力への理解を深めれば。新しい発見があるやもしれぬ使い方をソニアに習ってみるのはどうかなはい Yeah, Raoru with that kind of higher pitched voice does strike me as more kind of a philosopher king a good、uh, contrast to、uh, Ganon Alright, speaking of Ganon let's have a look at his attack And he looks so cool. Hyrule <laughs> Oak <laughs> of Wangate. As kind and wise as、uh, Raoru comes across, there is a sharpness to his features. He's got sharp eyes, he's got kind of angular、uh, kind of makeup, you know, to his head, his ears. 
I like that uh, juxtaposition. I love that ponytail on Ganon. <laughs> Something very masculine about it. Okay. Ganon failed in his uh, usurpation. So he enters court to pledge fealty. ネガワクバ。我らを幕下の端に置く愛くださいますよう very beautiful language from uh, Naudu there. Very royal. <laughs><笑> Ganon is also speaking very properly here, but there's definitely a shade of uh, condescension. The, uh, the tone of his voice is very different from uh, when he was speaking on top of the mountain, leading the attack. So he's definitely putting on an act here. Interesting that Zelda doesn't get into the, uh, the truth of how much she knows about Ganon here. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Zelda wouldn't say okay. Okay. She'd be like, understood, or something like that. Alright. Uh, next, Zelda and Sonia. The uh, performance of Zelda, the, uh, the voice actor here, is just filled with admiration for Sonia. 
引き出してあげるイメージかしら自分がどこにどんなふうにあったか思い出して Sometimes I wish I was a,、uh, a voice actor director for video games or like a film or anime. But again, like in English, how do you get across that someone admires someone else purely through the tone of their voice? Through the、uh, delivery, not through the words that they are speaking. <laughs> so, Nia, and the Kakshigo to Suruno are Muzukashi Karana. Kinikaka the Kreta Arigato, Zerda. Demo, Jibun no Jidayo Taisit Niste Ino. Anatawa, Tokino Chikara da Kedenak, Tsuyoku Shin Sena, Hama no Chikara Mo Himete. それは元の時代を守るために使わなくてはソニア様無事に帰ってリンクさんも安心させてあげないとねリンクあ初めて聞く名前だね私のいた時代でハイラル王国と私を救ってくれた勇者です元は私の護衛をしてくれていたこの絵の騎士だったのですがおお、勇者か。すでに鍛錬を欠かさず、どんな絶望的な状況にも立ち向かう。そう。とても強い。心の強い人なんです。Hmm. I didn't notice that the first time, but when Zelda is speaking about Link there, she's looking right at the camera. And then we see that at the very end of the,、uh, the game as well. But this is my interpretation, although I think it is also true, and it also is Nintendo's interpretation. <laughs> but Link is not really a character, he is the hero. And, like, we're not supposed to see ourselves in him. We're supposed to be kind of awed by what he does. And then, you know, the fact that he doesn't speak, the fact that he doesn't have any,、uh, like, personality or seemingly any,、uh, like, motivations beyond, you know, what is typical of the hero. I think it shows that he is just a vessel、uh, that we are supposed to, you know, experience the game through. And then that look by Zelda at us. Speaking of Link the Hero, I think is further proof of that. Alright, l next story. So, Zelda, Coco Nara Daremo Conaiwa? Orite no Sodan to you know, Nana no Desca? Nan de Baca no Hito. Now, is that a Gerudo knife? Hara, he told us to go to the house. So, now, who knew what it was? Gano, the king of the house. What is that? 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 What I talked about this in my、uh, setups and、uh, payoffs video, but I talked about how the,、uh, the main story of this game is actually、uh, pretty lean. It's、uh, efficient, I guess you could say. Not a lot of、uh, fluff. I mean, there are tons of like,、uh, side quests and stuff that、uh, don't directly relate, but the main story? Very well put together, I think. And then, you know, little by little, we are seeing, you know, everybody、uh, display their powers, but they're all,、uh, you know, important to the、uh, progression of the story. And then here we see Ganondorf take the. That's a cool smile. <laughs> 
Uh, but here we see Ganondorf take the uh, the Magatama from Sonya. Which I think is the same one that Zelda is wearing now because she picked it up from that uh, skeleton below Hyrule Castle. All right, next memory. Interesting. I wonder if, like, Ganon corrupted it. Or, like, if the, uh, the Magatama, um, like, changes itself? To the bearer? I wonder if it uh, gives different benefits based on the bearer, because we never see Ganon use uh, time power. Ah, maybe he created the uh, blood moon in this moment? And then uh, we see the uh, the blood moon appear at various times in the uh, story and we get a cutscene with Zelda. I wonder if that is um, Ganondorf as Zelda speaking in there. Great enemy design in this game, as in all of the uh, Link games. There is an element of, like, uh, kind of goofiness. A little bit of tongue-in-cheekness to them, and cuteness. But still very menacing. <laughs> It's just cool though. Sonia. Also got the now, now. What a what any it does. Samaranga Takamikara Mikudashi. So here the performance of Ganondorf is more closer to godlike, less human. And again, filled with self confidence and condescension. <laughs> There we saw uh, Raudu kind of lose control for a little bit, and his voice get deeper as well. Ha 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 